Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. Germ781, as I was known. Nerf mods and reviews. This is kind of just a update on uh, the channel, uh, what's been going on. It's been dead for years because I pretty much moved on from Nerf. Don't mess with the, the modding and all that anymore. Doing the family thing and a bunch of other stuff. But uh, every now and then I dip in on some of the Nerf things was going on. And uh, I watch videos here and there. A uh, couple people that I... Uh, videos pop up and they kind of interest me. One of them is uh, Coop. And it's another one. I forget the guy's name. Uh, but I like their videos. But every now and then something will pop up. I'll watch it or whatever. But, you know, I don't... I'm just not into it like that anymore. Um, but i say about a year ago, I did purchase a blaster. And... It was, it was one of these things here. One of the Adventure Force blasters. It wasn't this one, though. It was a motorized one with a big hopper up top. And uh, I found it at Walmart. It was, like, on clearance for, like, 10 bucks, And I was like, oh, let me pick it up, check it out, see what's up. Couldn't believe the thing needed C batteries. I'm like, really? Who makes stuff that uses C batteries these days? So once I found some batteries, I got it home, checked it out, uh, was messing with it. I was blown away. I was like, wow, this thing shoots hard as I don't know what. It, I thought it shot ver very well from, you know, being out of Nerf and not messing with anything like that. I was impressed, except it was extremely noisy. Didn't like the noise. Um, long story, I ended up returning it later, uh, and I went for... Decided to check out the Nerf ones, the Nerf, uh, what are they called? The Rival, Rival Series Nerf, yeah. I, let me see. Got a little tiny tub here with a couple Nerf guns. In. This here. Found this at a Marshalls for like 10 bucks on clearance. And, uh, at, me and my wife was actually messing with it. We were very impressed. This thing shot so hard. And, uh, I mean, we sat there and was shooting it back and forth down the hallway for about an hour. Very impressed with it. Um, which then caused me to spark slight little, very little interest in some of the blasters. So it started with this right here, and I ended up buying... This one here from Target. I wanted something a little fancier. I splurge, what I call splurge, and I think I it was on sale. I paid like 40 bucks for it, which to me I thought, wow, that's a lot for a Nerf gun. But I was very impressed. Uh shot very well. It to me it didn't quite shoot as hard as this one, but very close. I just liked it. It was a cool gun. Um, I did put some black on it a little bit, but uh, I thought it was a cool gun. So I got it. Pretty happy with it. I was shooting around with it for a while. And then that's when it started. I would just pick up little Nerf guns I'd find on sale. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Actually, the next one that I picked up was this right here. Also came from a Marshalls, 20 bucks. I'd never had a Mega Dart. Actually, is it loaded? I think it is. A Mega Dart Blaster. This thing really, I was just so impressed with this. I mean, just the mechanism and all. I Almost intrigued me enough to open it up just to see how this thing worked and see how big the plunger and all that stuff was, but I didn't bother. But, I mean, it's impressive. It shoots... Oh, I hit the button. It shoots very well. Uh, I did do something to this to get it to come back off. Because I actually like it without it on there. Um, if you want to call that a mod, then yes, I modded it. Um, but that was it. 
impressed. It shoots very well. I really like this. Thought this was cool. And it was inexpensive. And from there, I just picked up other little blasters that I've seen them. I grabbed this from like a Ollie's. I don't know why. I should have left it there. This thing is crap. I mean, it was back when I was messing with Nerf. These were out and they were crapped in. And of course, they still are. And I thought this was just totally awesome. Um, one of the, I guess, zombie guns. Actually found this at a Barnes and Noble for like six or seven dollars, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I was like, "Wow!" I remember doing mods to do stuff like this, and here you can just buy a gun like that. Thought it was cool. I thought the extra plastic was dumb, but it was cheap. It shoots well. It was cheap. Um, another one of my Marshall finds, you know, when you're out shopping with the wife and kids and you got to entertain yourself somehow. So I end up picking up little things like this. I forget how much this was. It was cheap. Shoots well. Impressed. Um, it's hard to load the darts in this one for some reason. The door, I don't know. It works. But, so like I said, I've been, this is another one of my... Barnes and Noble picks up pickups. It was, you know, on clearance. It was cheap. Really like this one. Thought it was really cool. Very cool gun. Uh, I have the little pistol. I don't see it, but there it is. Whoops. This was actually the first little Nerf gun I picked up. And, uh, I was like, wow, that's impressive to be a little, I don't know, I just, it was cool. The whole, another one of those, I want to open it up and see what's inside, but not too worried. I did pull out something in there and it works still. Another cool little shooter, definitely not as uh, powerful as the Nerf ones, but I played around with it. Uh, actually should have returned it. I didn't need this thing. Haven't even really used it since I bought it and was messing with it. But, you know. Now that I don't even remember where I found this one, but it was marked down and it was cool. I thought it was neat how it kind of flips out and gimmicky, weird, awkward, really. But, you know. So. Yeah, I just got this little tub. This was another one of my Marshalls pickups. Found it, and it was really cheap. And I was like, oh, Fortnite, cool. And then I got a bunch of, uh... I keep coming across darts cheap. I found these at, like, a Kmart for a dollar each. Or, no, Walmart. They were on clearance at a Walmart for a dollar each. So I got a bunch of darts around. Like I said, I buy them because they're so inexpensive. Uh, oh, this was another one that really impressed me. When these came out, oh, wow. I was just like, this is a cool little... I mean, these things are cool. They shoot hard and nice big grip for a big hand. Very cool. So I'll just sit around and shoot. I have a... Uh, I bought this at a Marshalls, cheap, um, is, eh, I mean, I can't use it with the rival stuff, it doesn't work well, it'll hit it, and all the lights will go off, and I guess they shoot too hard, then I bought this off Amazon, I, I like this one, this one's cool, you hit them, and they go down, and they motorize, they'll pop back up, um, again, the rival stuff kind of shoots too hard for it, but I like this target, this is the target I usually play around with a shoot. Um, I recently went to Ross and uh, they just reopened from the, you know, closing down because of the virus. And I found $3.50 rival rounds and some of the, what are the AccuStrike darts? $3 for this pack. Thought that was pretty good. So I got plenty of darts that I really don't need. Uh, 
couple other blasters I picked up. Another Marshall's fine. Thought it was cool. Grabbed it. Didn't know a dart was in there and it went behind that bookcase that is now gone. Um, I thought it looked cool. I think the little handle here is kind of flimsy, but I guess it is what it is. It was cheap. So I kind of like it. Just to play around with it. I remember I bought this at a Target. It was on sale and I was like, ooh, I'm going to get one because it looks cool. And it actually does not. There we go. I was going to say, I thought it shot better than that. I probably shouldn't have left the, uh, the darts. Shouldn't have left the darts in it. Because uh, I remember it shooting better than this. Alpha Hawk. I forget what I paid for it. Um, I think it was a little under 20 bucks. So... Like I said, just something to mess with. I have two other, three other Nerf guns. I got this, uh, this thing here, the X-Shot crossbow. That's very impressive. I mean, I love this thing. I'm like, these X-Shot blasters are, I don't know if it's loaded. It is. These things are awesome. They shoot so, I don't know how accurate they are or feet per second or anything like that but they shoot hard good distance i i'm impressed with these um along with this thing i'm like if this isn't the dumbest little like it should have been a pistol but i don't know they put this front thing on it and but it shoots good it it's a single shot thing but I don't know it shoots well i like it not very practical but it's cool and then of course my favorite rival blaster i just love love this thing uh when these i watching somebody's video and uh they reviewed that these were in stores and i just had to get one this is awesome this is my favorite i'm always walking around the house just firing and everybody's ducking and running um this is a cool gun i really like this one um is this loaded i don't even rem i've had this one for a while oh. that shoots harder than i remember um a walmart pickup i like the the setup on it i don't know shoots well I, I barely mess with it, so I don't even remember how well it shoots or anything. I have a, uh, where is it? Another, it's over here. Shotgun. I actually just bought this at Ross. It was $6 on clearance. I figured, why not? And, uh, again... These little things are impressive. I like these. These little X-Shot blasters, to me, they shoot very well. I've looked at the rest of them, and none of the rest of them really interest me, so I'll probably just stick with uh, these two. But So, I mean, I, I don't do anything with the guns. I just shoot them around. Me and my daughter have Nerf gun wars, and uh, that's pretty much it. She has her own Nerf guns and uh, the arrow thing. Uh, trying to, I do have, uh, I found this at a Ollie's for $14, and, uh, this thing is crap right here. This, this is, oh, it's not looking it. like, this thing is terrible. It looks cool, though. I just have it sitting up on the shelf because it looks cool. Um, Overwatch, it's a cool blaster, but it's, it's junk. It shoots, like... I don't even know why they made this thing. Uh, I have my Deadpool rival guns. Um, trying to think. I actually... I don't know where it's at. So I found this little thing for my daughter to use because it had light in it. But she didn't really care for it. Not on either. It's... That's junk. 
But uh, I have my, let me turn the camera around here if I can. My Deadpool rival blasters. I found those cheap. Uh, I think it was Best Buy. They were on clearance. Don't really mess with those, but they are cool. I just like the way they look. And I guess we'll go ahead and uh, excuse all the shoes. This little guy here that I found at Marshall's that I'm sure you all have seen, of course, shoots the little uh, rival rounds. That thing is awesome. Shoots well, works well. 20 bucks. Couldn't beat it. I really like uh, using that little guy there. So I keep him parked here in my it's my little man cave um, where I keep all my shoes and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I keep keep that one there. Um, I have a little storage area. This is where I keep the Nerf stuff. I is there anything left in here? I got an old. Uh, What's that blaster called back there? Long shot. That's what it is. It's an old long shot sitting back there. I found a Goodwill for a dollar. Um, I don't really mess with that, but um, you know, this is my man cave. That's where I spend all my time messing with my shoes and some of the Nerf guns. There's the, the bin where all the junk is. So, actually... I forgot about this. This is in there too. Um, I can't. Remember. I think it works. I'm not sure. I found it at a like a Goodwill, and then I had to find ammo for it, which I did. I found some ammo and clearance at Target for it, and uh, I think I think it does work. I don't remember, but basically, just wanting to give you guys an update on what's been going on. Uh, my daughter's. Trying to see, oh here we go. It's my daughter's Nerf gun. That's what she uses. It works sometimes. And then she's got this thing which doesn't work well. And someone bought her this. This actually shoots better than you'd think. So that's my daughter's gun collection. You have to excuse her little fort there. But uh so yeah, that's that's my Nerf guns that I use, uh, play around with, and uh, you know, just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on whatever happened to Nerf mods and reviews. No more modding, <laughs> no more reviewing. Play around with some of them here and there, but that is pretty much it. So hope that answers some of you guys' questions. Probably doesn't, but. There you go. There you have it. That's all I got for you. Um, so, to those that still look back at the channel with all the old, outdated mods, I mean, the stuff they're doing now is crazy with 3D printing parts and, oh my goodness, it's, if I can remember the name of some of the, I follow a couple places on Instagram, just because it's cool to see what people are doing with these now, and, uh, I know, uh, who is it? I forget the company. They make the pro-grade guns now. Oh, I'd love to get my hands on one of those, but I'm not dropping that kind of money on a dart gun. But, um, they're cool. I mean, they are really cool. The things they're doing with these mods and compared to what, you know, what we was doing back in the day, it's crazy. I mean, you pretty much buy a gun now. You don't need to mod it. You just buy it and have fun with it. So, that's cool. But, like I said, that's all I got for you guys. Um, I see some of the comments every now and then. I'll look in. And uh, that's pretty much why I made this video. But, yeah, that's, you know, left nerf. Moved on. I'll, I'll never go back to mod just because it's so... They've moved on. They're so advanced now. <laughs> it's crazy. But um, for everybody that stuck with it and kept going, congrats. Y'all are doing y'all thing. The Nerf guns people are making now, just handmade from scratch. It's crazy. Uh, props to all you guys. Uh, keep doing y'all thing. And I'll just keep watching in the background. 
uh, checking you all out. So, um, you know, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers I used to have. I know it used to be a whole lot. Um, of course, thanks. Appreciated it. And uh, hope you guys just keep on, keep going, keep modding, keep nerfing, keep all that good stuff. So uh, that's all I got for you. Peace out.